This one, this one, I really hope is fake, but uh, if not, it's a solid L. Capital L. I hate what? niggas be on they homie ass and they ain't even go slap. I had a prep talk with a baby threat and I told him to keep his eye. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> The car is fucking hideous too. Like there's there's nothing going for this car. I just made a video talking about how I think stamps cars are like going out of like the trend and I cannot wait to never see them again. Listen gang, welcome back to what is yet again another freaking banger, all right? Today we're doing something a little unusual. I literally just woke up out of bed. I go on my Instagram and I'm seeing, yo, your car is a thumbnail of this guy's page. Your car is this, like he's talking crap about your car. So I was like, you know what? Let me go pick up the camera and let me react to what this guy posted in my car. I have no idea. I didn't even watch the video yet. You guys can see the GTI in the back looking pretty as ever. It needs a wash, but it's okay. Cold start for the boys. All right guys, listen, before we get started with today's video, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you're new to the freaking channel. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I literally cannot do it without your help, all right? Now listen, if you guys know me, you guys know I'm not the type to spread any types of negativity as far as the car scene, as far as anything really. I try to make the channel as positive as I can regardless of your build, regardless of what you choose to do with your build. Regardless of what it is, it's straight positivity on this side. I see most of you guys Say something about him in the comments every now and again so i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know what type of youtuber this guy is i went on his channel like one or two times before i'm not gonna lie i came across a lot of negativity hatred towards other people's builds what they decide to do with their cars and you know that's not really what i'm about like i'm really about like it's your money we're all in this car scene together you know we all share the same passion we're all true car enthusiasts at the end of the day right so what is the point of you know spreading hatred towards someone or something that somebody does with theirs and they love it if they drive around in it if they post it they obviously love it so why spread negativity i just wanted to get that in the air because man i just don't understand how some people could spread such a community of negativity i'm not gonna say everyone that watches this guy's youtube video spreads negativity but from my comments on my instagram on my tiktok on my youtube channel whenever somebody mentions this guy's name it's always such and such should do a review view on this bs car or at such and such get a load of this guy you know it's always like adding him and then some type of negativity in the process but enough of that listen we're just gonna get straight into it because i honestly want to watch this somebody added me on my instagram i seen the thumbnail and when i seen the thumbnail i was like oh my god he literally used my car as the thumbnail before the video got like around 400 000 views i'm trying to like kind of like screen record it so that way you guys could see what i'm looking at you guys can see it literally dropped 30 minutes ago so i was literally asleep i woke up and i seen this and i was like bruh i cannot stand the type of guy this guy is he put he has to take off his wheel to fill up on gas and then the title of the video is this car scene cringe has to stop before we even proceed have you guys seen my gas situation which i'm sure a lot of you guys have if you watch my last video you've seen how i just fixed it i have a set of wheels that are 10 and a half wide on my rear literally i cannot fit them without an amazing amount of camber they were 10 wide and 10 and a half wide and i was like okay i can make those fit and you guys are probably like why would you get wheels that you knew you had to run an amazing amount of camber or do some cutting or do whatever i like big lips on my car a big dish that kind of makes the car look more aggressive to me so that's why i went with the wheels that i went with in the process of fitting the wheels i cambered it i made them fit and then i had a filler neck basically where you put the gas into which is literally right behind the wheel i tried driving with it i was rubbing through it literally the car wouldn't move because i was hitting the shield of it so i completely cut it out i cut it out in a rush not getting anything fixed not getting a fuel cell or whatnot because of the fact that this was when uh simply clean in daytona was going on where all the cars all the stands cars meet up we all mob whatnot temporarily only had it for a weekend that was my plan after the weekend i realized okay it's not really that hard to fill up everyone says it's unsafe even though i had no gas leaking from it i really didn't care i really didn't care about what people's opinions were i posted it on my youtube a couple times at this time i wasn't really getting that many views but then i posted it on tiktok 
TikTok one time, which was recently, and it blew up and I got a whole bunch of hate because of it. It's not the smartest thing to do. It's pretty fucking stupid, even if you ask me. But it's kind of what I had to do. And you guys are probably like, why don't you run a fuel cell? Here, hold on. This box right here, it's a big ass box of sound, a sound speaker, basically. It's called a chuchetto. And then I have a sub, literally the size of the whole entire trunk. I don't know if you guys can see it with my amps right there. That takes up the whole trunk. So my only option would literally be here or in my driver's seat. Sorry, the car is a little dirty right now. I apologize. It just has my tools everywhere. There's tools here, tools there. If I put the fuel cell back here, I'm literally going to sacrifice my whole back seat at that point. Then my tools will have to go on my front seat. We're literally in like a one seater. It's literally just the driver's seat and no one's going to be able to ride in my car. It's either that or I sacrifice my tools. And if I sacrifice my tools, if the time ever comes, something happens on the side of the road, I'll be stranded. Just to clear the air, that's why I never ran a fuel cell. Under the subs, there's a little compartment and the compartment's only like this tall. If I try to raise the subs, I'm going to sacrifice breaking my whole windshield when the base hits. Trust me, every answer you guys give me about the fuel cell thing, I've thought about. Like, I've been thinking about it for the longest. It was the easiest thing, but everybody on TikTok and social media made it seem like it was the hardest thing in the world. Regardless, it was stupid. Situation is fixed. So I just wanted to clear that whole thing up because I know I'm going to get attacked because people are going to be like, oh yeah, it is stupid. He's calling you out on something stupid because it is. All right, if you guys want to see how it's fixed, watch my last video, watch my last TikTok. I have it fixed. Let's just get into this video because I really just want to look at this video. I really want to see what this guy said. And then there's a clown on the thumbnail, of course, using my car as a thumbnail, of course. Not surprised. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna say anything else. We're just gonna, we're just gonna watch this video because I know you, that's what y'all are here to see. All right, I'm not watching all this. Did he really leave me for last? Uses me as a thumbnail, leaves me for the last so people can watch the whole thing to get to the best part, right? I'm skipping through this video and you guys see this. I don't know if all this is hatred because I'm not watching it, but like if you make a video literally hating on people's builds the whole time, that says a lot about you, like as a person. The fact that you have to sit here and make content regarding somebody else's build to make money because that's all it's really about. Taking other people's stuff, this video may not help him grow whatsoever, but at the end of the day, it's more publicity towards him. I'm assuming everybody he talks crap about sees it because people share it to them and he just eats off of that. Like he eats off of the publicity. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's hear what he has to say. What do you think? Oh, it's a flex because you have to take off your fucking wheel to fill up your car every time. You are the biggest fucking idiot on the face of the earth. That is Who not cool. This is the flex? lamest shit ever. Not only is it not safe, but it's just not cool. This is stupid. Because I made a video doing it. It was a flex. The car is fucking hideous too. Like there's there's nothing going for this car. Like it already has mixed match panels. It's yeah, it's pretty much a salvage title. Salvage title because I have a new fender. Not that a I didn't W. Make. That is not a W. Drop the W in the comment section, gang, because this is a W. God, that is the lamest looking car I think I've seen all day. Like I know we've looked at some some really good uh, sports cars and stuff. You know, we had the Honda, we had the the Maxima or whatever. But this this is the worst. I would take either of those over this any day because this is just goofy as hell. Goofy. Pink calibers too. Nice touch, boy. The pink yeah, calibers this, is this fine. doesn't look good. This looks dangerous. Like, there's no way that this is... I just made a video talking about how I think stance cars are, like, going out of, like, the trend. How? And I cannot wait to never see them again. Like, never. Then this guy doesn't even know how to fucking spray paint brake calibers. Okay, I'm right? not gonna lie. That was pretty fucking stupid. Everything. This guy has the mechanical knowledge or just the, the handiness of a toddler. If you can't even mask off shit or take off your caliber to paint it, you're an idiot. I'll give him that. You know, I didn't take off the caliber. I sprayed. I oversprayed. That was pretty bad. I ain't gonna lie. I, I don't know how the fuck I fucked that up. It's overspray! <laughs> Bro, this is how you know people have nothing better to do. Like, how do you sit here and just talk shit about other people's cars and like consider yourself a YouTuber? Wow. Uh, you know what? Hold on, hold on. We're, we're gonna we're gonna let the video play. Yeah, this is uh this is cringy as shit. Well, that's all my brain can take for today. That is uh that is painful right there. I can't imagine having to drive around something like that. I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemies. Not only does it look atrocious, but it just seems atrocious to drive. Like you gotta carry around these fucking bricks every day. You gotta Tools. take off your wheel to fill it up with gas. I mean, with these gas prices, I would.
wouldn't want to fill up the car anyways. Add an extra step in there, an extra three. I might just go crash into a tree for fun. Anyways, guys, that is all That's I got for you for I might just go crash into a tree for fun. Let me know down below which clip for was fun. I just can't fathom the thought of people like sitting here and talking trash about somebody else's build. It's never something I'll do for money. That's all he's doing it for is for a paycheck. I want y'all to realize that. I see in his profile picture, I don't know if that's him or not. In his banner, he has a Supra and then I don't even know what other car that is, but that shit looks fire. Not gonna cap. Those shits look expensive as fuck. With 500,000 subscribers, best believe this is what he makes a career off of. Let me just go through the videos he has. Like this one, this car scene cringe has to stop. The stance car scene is finally dying. Hunters for ricers at a, at a car meet. Clowns destroy their cars for clout. All of it is straight negativity, boys. What is the point of sitting there watching a guy troll and watching a guy be so negative amongst other people? I just honestly hate this whole thing with he posts because it's spreads a community of people that hate cars, hate on cars. Like, it's a community at this point. You see him doing it, so now everyone's gonna be like, all right, we think it's okay to go for hate on people's cars and troll people's cars and that's why we have such an amazing amount of people that hate stance that hate the squatted truck that hate donks that hate any kind of creative car other than like speed or drifting cars there's such a big community of people coming from guys like him that spread straight hatred yo and i honestly hate to see it man because like eventually i want to branch out i want to do more fast car things lifted trucks squatted trucks i I want to get into a whole nother scene of cars because I'm honestly just about loving everyone's builds for the uniqueness of their builds, getting to know the owners and why the owners make their cars the way they make them. Like you guys see my review videos. I love making those videos. Why? Because I have a ball. I have the most fun time sitting there driving in a stance car, driving with the owner of the stance car, making a video. The car is dope as fuck. They share the same passion as I do. And we get to make a killer video for you guys to watch. Just me making this video right now is kind of like annoying me because it's like, I'm not a shit talker, you know? So I just wanted to address this. I wanted to get this out in the air because I feel like this shit needs to stop, man. This this like hatred towards everybody's builds even if what they're doing is stupid even if you don't agree with it their paint job their wheels their exhaust lifted they're squatted they're cambered regardless spread positivity boys this is something we all love to do cars we all love them you guys are here watching me because you guys are car enthusiasts you guys love what i post but you guys come here to get some good laughter not hatred not negativity why because it brings so much excitement joy to you guys and i absolutely love from the bottom of my heart i love making these videos for you guys and this is why i'm never gonna stop because at the end of the day when there's people spreading negativity that shit can only take you so far and this is why i'm so thankful for you guys who support me because you guys literally help me be more of a positive person i wasn't always the most positive person in the world i had my points where i I was negative about other people's cars. Not crazy like this guy is. Never to this nigga's extent right here. Never. But literally gaining such a big audience that I'm able to make videos. You guys love them. We're spreading nothing but love in the comment section. I'm responding back to you guys. Literally almost every comment I try to get back to you guys. It's just a great community. You guys changed me. You guys made me more of a positive person. A lot of you guys told me I should do like rating people's cars and shit. I've thought about it. I think I even said I was gonna start doing that. Even if I did, yo, I would never spread like any kind of negative vibes to anyone's build. It'll be straight positivity, straight motivating vibes. It would never be discriminating somebody else because of their build because that's not the type of person I am, all right? Listen, if you guys enjoyed this video, I hope to never make one of these videos again because I, I honestly hate doing such sh shit like this. But listen, if you guys enjoyed this video even a little bit, all right, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel i love you guys so freaking much thank you guys for making all of this possible i'll see you guys in the next banger peace straight gas we'll never stop what we're doing over here